All of our suits have a sleeve or a pocket in the leading edge, which allows you to insert the structure enhancing foam. This is the most basic foam that we offer. It's standard on almost all of our suits. And in fact, there are only two suits in our entire range that ship with something other than this. It starts out in its life as a flat piece of foam and it, it forms a rounded shape in the leading edge. It helps create an airfoil shape. It's very flexible, it's very forgiving, and it allows plenty of range of movement. This foam is a great option for skydiving and for base jumping once you're comfortable with the suit. Plenty of comfort for the pole, it still allows you to reach the risers, and is generally very easy and non-restrictive in flight. The wrist pattern will either be quite cut in, like this, for the Freak series, or perhaps a little more blunt for other wingsuits. The first generation of race foam is this, commonly referred to as blue foam. This dates back to 2015, where it debuted at the ACES event. We found that while it was very flexible and soft and the comfort was pretty good, the durability wasn't exactly what we desired. The latest generation of race foam replaces the soft closed cell foam. This 3D shape is covered in an adhesive Dacron, and it's labeled left wing, right wing, but it has better longevity and it breaks in very nicely. Eventually what it looks like is this. It will begin to wrinkle and crease in the areas around your elbow and places where it's stressed by the movement of the suit. Because we have two additional layers of fabric over the top of this foam, the wrinkles don't matter in terms of performance, and we found that this is equally as flexible and comfortable, yet holds a better shape around your arm. The Aura 3, for instance, ships with this foam. As stated in the Aura 3 manual, which is shipped with every Aura 3 we've made, we do not recommend base jumping this foam. It is only for performance skydiving. In fact, the Aura manual recommends that for base jumping, you should use no foam in the leading edge. And we maintain that for all of our suits, your first base jumps should be made without any foam in the leading edge. That means no black five millimeter sheet foam, just the suit itself, until you're very comfortable at all angles of attack and all modes of flight. In addition to the new race foam, we're now offering a freestyle version. The foam is a little bit thinner and less volume, so that gives you a little bit more freedom of movement while still maintaining an airfoil shape on the leading edge. Both the Freak 1 and Freak 2 can have this foam added to the leading edge. So if you fly a Freak, whatever version, you're going to love this foam in the skydive environment. It's not for base jumping, that's very important, but it adds so much precision and power and speed and glide that it really changes the character of the suit. Transitions become sharper and more precise feeling, the flare power is improved, everything about the suit feels better. It's available as a standalone product. If you'd like a set, you can order it on our website. We highly recommend reading the manual that came with your suit. All of our manuals are also available online on the product page, so you can always refer to the latest updated version in PDF format online, and there's always a printed manual included in the suit when you receive it from us. It seems obvious, but it's important to say that the leading edge foam in these wingsuits is not indestructible, so you want to wait to take extra special care when you're folding up your suit to keep the foam nice and not damage it. So when you're installing your foam, it may look like the writing is upside down, but that's because your suit is laying on its back, effectively flying upside down. So the riding goes in the same direction as the suit. Once you're flying on your belly, the riding is in the correct direction. Don't worry, we got that right. So if it says right wing on the foam, put it in the right wing of your suit. Generally speaking, your suit will always be easier to fly without foam in the leading edge. The foam adds performance, but at the cost of comfort and security. 